I'd like to briefly share this admonition on character assassination. Character assassination is a pervasive and destructive phenomenon that is found everywhere. You find it in families, in political arena, places of worship, organizations, workplaces, and such like. Character assassination is a deliberate, malicious, unjustified, and sustained effort to damage the reputation or credibility of an individual. Character assassination is a slandering of a person, usually with the intention of destroying public confidence in that person. Character assassination is the act of lowering one's character in a bid to ruin the character of others. Now, this destructive phenomenon has been endemic in our society, especially in times of active politicking. They call it demarketing. Now, one mistake you should never make in life is to allow yourself to be recruited by someone to hate another person who hasn't wronged you. Now, listen to me. We must avoid making hasty conclusions because of what others are saying about someone else, especially in this era of social media. Do you know that what people say about others says a lot about them? I'm repeating this more directly now. The things you say about others say a lot about you. I can tell a lot about a person by what they choose to see in others and which they choose to escalate. There are people that take maximum delight in ruining others' reputation. These set of people have what I would like to call destructive tendencies. They oil their own ego by pulling other people down. They have self-awarded uh, PhD, you know, PhD for pull him down, pull him down. False allegations are the most chronic form of mental abuse. When people can't kill your dreams and purpose, they will try to assassinate your character. There are some people that your spirit will always irritate the demons in them. Once they realize that getting people to hate you isn't working, they will start telling and spreading lies about you. People are assassinated once, but character assassination kills every day. Character assassination is a form of emotional violence against others. Someone once said, a friend of my enemy is my enemy. Now listen, a friend of your enemy is not necessarily your enemy. It all depends on intentions and contributions because God can use your enemy's friend to bless you. Now, here are some critical don'ts that you really need to guard yourself against and refusing to get trapped in them will help you to live a more productive, fulfilling and unbiased life. One, don't conclude about people because of what others say about them. It is a lack of social intelligence that makes people draw conclusions on others based on what other people say about them. Two, don't inherit other people's enemies. It is total lack of education and enlightenment when you automatically make your friend's enemies your own. So never make people your enemies just because they are not in good terms with your friends. And don't use your children as weapons of war. God can use your enemies to bless your children. So stop using them to fight those you don't like. Never use your parental influence to make your children hate others. Number five, or is it number four? Refuse to be used as a weapon in other people's battle. When people fight dirty, refuse to take sides. Observe deeply before concluding finally. And then don't hate people just because they don't behave like you. That someone is not your tribe doesn't make them your enemy. It is a waste of education if the only people you like are those that are like you. The greatest proof of your education is in how you respond to people whose opinions are different from yours. So stop the destructive habit of talking about people behind their back. Talking badly about someone else while they are not there to defend themselves says more about you than the person you are talking about. Rumors are carried by haters, spread by fools, 
and accepted by idiots. I say that again. Rumors are carried by haters. Rumors are spread by fools. And rumors are accepted by idiots. And with these words of admonition, I say good morning. My name is Nyojo Adi.